In this video, I want to show you how you can display podcast episodes or basically any kind of audio files on your website using a new audio element that we've just released. All right. So first of all, I want to show you how you can display a podcast episode on a ribbon, right? So when your visitor is, for example, reading one of your blog posts or one of your pages, a simple ribbon will show up at the top of the page, you know, containing a podcast episode, and then your visitor can simply click on it and, you know, start listening to that episode. Then second of all, I'm going to show you how you can display a podcast episode on something that we call a slide in. Right, so it basically looks like this, right? It's just an element sliding in on a page. And, you know, just as before, your visitor's reading your blog post, and, you know, this might uh, gain his attention and he might click and start listening to that episode. Okay, so let's jump right in and see how we can build this. So we'll start with the ribbon, right? Now, this is one of our Thrive Leads uh, templates for the ribbon type opt-in form, let's call it that. And uh, we're simply going to display our uh, podcast episode in here. And, you know, we'll modify the text to let the visitor know that it's about a podcast. Okay. So first things first, as you can see, we have two columns here, right? We want to leave a little bit more space for the audio element to be displayed in this area. So we'll remove this button and this text here, right? We need to modify it. So we can simply uh, type in something like, let's remove this text here, uh, something like check out our uh, latest podcast episode, okay? And below it, I wanna write, you know, for example, the, the name of the guest for the podcast and uh, what's the podcast episode about. Basically, there are multiple ways to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this text, right? So then I have two uh, pieces of text here and this bottom one, I'm going to type something else in it. So for example, you know, let's name our guest John Doe and, you know, he's talking about the power of, I don't know, something right that's not something this is something okay now uh, what we want to do next is basically we want to decrease the size of this text obviously and then simply align it to the left so that you know it's in the same line with the first uh, piece of text okay and then we can make this italic for example as simple as that and then you know if you if you want to make some extra changes for example we can lower this text a bit so that it doesn't touch the top of the ribbon and then you know we can increase uh, the the margin space for the image so that it's back in its original position okay and now the audio element that i was telling you about basically you can find this element on any of the thrive themes products that use the uh, thrive architect editor right so any of the elements any of the products that use this sidebar you're going to find the audio element on okay so scroll down there it is, and we can simply drag it and drop it inside this column. Now, by default, we uh, we support uh, SoundCloud links and Spotify links, but you can also use custom links uh, for your podcast episodes. And that's what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to show you, for example, how you can use an iTunes link for a podcast. So as an example, we're going to take this uh, Apple podcast, The Smoking Tire, right? I'm going to select uh, an episode from this list. And now the problem is that you cannot simply copy the URL of this entire page, right? And display it uh, in the custom link, right? Because it simply doesn't work like that, right? It needs a link directly to the audio file, okay? So to do that, in this case, in the uh, Apple podcast, I'm not sure if for other podcasts this is the case, but for this one, we click on episode website here. This is gonna send us to this simple page and we can simply right click and select copy audio address and then go back to our page, 
click on custom here, click on choose audio, go to upload files and select insert from URL and then simply paste your link in this field, right? And click on insert into post. And there you go, your uh, podcast episode or basically any of the audio elements that you choose will be uh, displayed there. And we can simply, you know, adjust it further so that, you know, the width is a bit uh, smaller. And there you go. It looks it looks fine. Now, the, the secret here, as I've showed you, is uh, if you if you remember this link, if we go back here, right it has it, i cannot see it now but it had dot mp3 at the end right so it's important i think that most of the links will have uh, either mp3 or dot wav or something like that some 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 extension like that that you know basically lets you know that uh the the link is for the file right for the audio file not for the uh, audio page and then in Thrive Leads, uh, you know, you have the option to display these uh, these uh, ribbons or these these elements that you choose on specific pages. And, you know, you can determine if you want to display it both on desktop and on mobile as well. You can determine the frequency of, you know, how often you want to display that uh, that element, basically. So, you know, in order to display it on a certain blog post, for example, that is relevant, right? And it's something similar to the actual podcast so that you gain the attention of your reader. You know, you can go to display settings and, you know, you can select uh, a certain category of post, for example, now we I don't have any categories, but you know, you can select the category or the actual post that you want to display your uh, ribbon podcast on. Okay, so that you make it highly targeted and effective. All right, now let's go on and quickly build the slide in podcast uh, element in Thrive Leads. Okay, so we have the uh, the slide in template here, similar design to the other one. So we're simply going to go ahead and replace the text again. Hold on, let me remove this. So check out our latest podcast episode or without our so that it's it's shorter okay simple as that you can increase the line height maybe just a bit but that is just me getting geeky over small things here anyway uh below here you can write you know a description of the guest and uh, what's he talking about you know same as before for the moment, we're going to leave it like that. And the way this works, basically, the slide in, this is what, what is called in Thrive Leads the sticky slide in. So basically, the visitor will see this element, right? And if he doesn't like it, he can click on X, but the element will not go away completely. Instead, a smaller version of the same element uh, will will remain on the screen sticky okay and basically what we want to do uh, even if he you know even if he decides to click on this button or if he decides to, to leave it alone for the ones that click on this button we want them to see a pop-up window and in that pop-up window to see the actual uh, you know podcast episode with the play button and everything right so uh, first of all we got to customize this button real quick so we'll simply leave it like that since you know it's matching the design and everything and from this other sidebar we're going to select the add icon option now it's too large we're going to increase the width a bit we're going to change the size of the icon just because i like it on the right side better and we're going to replace it with a play icon right since we want it to be uh, something related to podcast okay so play icon and now here we can simply type in you know check out episode or something like that and now in order to 
customize the other states of this element, as, as I've told you, the, the sticky state and the uh, the pop-up window that will show up in Thrive Lead, all you have to do is click on this plus icon. Now this state one here is the sticky uh, uh, part of the element, as you, uh, if you will, and the light box one is the pop-up that we want to display the uh, podcast episode in okay so we'll leave the state one as it is you can customize it if you choose to build this on your website so we'll jump on to lightbox one all right so this is basically the uh, default lightbox that your uh, visitor will see after he clicks on the button and here we want to display the podcast right so after he clicks on the button he can listen to the podcast nice and quiet right away okay so we'll add the audio element right away on this uh, on this light box and then we'll worry about which of these elements can we keep on the uh, on this light box okay so in this case we'll use SoundCloud and I'm going to show you how SoundCloud is different from the custom option and uh, what kind of link should you use okay so we'll go to this uh, the SoundCloud page an example uh, podcast page and you need to click on one of the podcasts so you need to be inside a certain uh, podcast episode page okay so not on the uh, podcast uh, index let's say okay and now I'll I'll uh, make my screen bigger and you know to copy the link you simply have to select the URL that appears in this big uh, field on your browser, right? You don't need to worry about any MP3 or anything like that. Just copy the link, right? And then go back to our page here and, you know, paste, paste it in the uh, URL field for SoundCloud, okay? Click away and this will generate the uh, beautiful design of SoundCloud. And then, you know, using our editor, we can decrease decrease the uh the width of the entire of the entire layout for soundcloud and now unfortunately i don't think we can keep any of these elements right we're going to remove them one by one as simple as that and now we can uh, click on the text to uh to uh, remove the space between these two elements we'll we'll remove the bottom margin and we'll be left with something like this. And now here you can type in something like, listen to, this is called the car and driver podcast episode, I don't know, 150, let's say something like that. Okay, you leave it like that, maybe decrease the size a bit. And there you go. You know, a simple, simple way to, to customize this light box. And now if we take a look at how this, uh, this entire flow looks like, you know, your, your visitor is reading your blog post, the slide in shows up. And if he clicks on the button, right, then he will be uh, sent uh, to this uh, pop-up, right? He will see this pop-up and he'll be able to listen to the podcast episode right away. Now, these are basically just two of the ways that I could think of, of how you can display a podcast episode using the new audio element. Uh, do you have any ideas of how uh, you can display a podcast episode on your website? Leave me, uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this and how would you display a podcast episode on your website, All right? This is about it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to Thrive Themes, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be up to date with everything that we post, you know, every update and every cool video that we post about how you can improve your website and your conversions, hit that notification bell as well. Apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next video.